Hey everybody, Sandy here. Welcome or welcome back to the Shed House. Today we're working on a wine tumbler. This is a 12 ounce. Um, this was requested by someone very near and dear to me. So I thought let's do a video and she'll have that as well. What we're going to do is we're going to do a red to black ombre with glitter. If I can get this to stop moving. We're going to be using Rooster's Comb by the Glitter Horse Store. And I love the way this glitter lays down. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's yummy and creamy and I don't I don't know how else to describe it. And yep, our good old extra fine black glitter from Hobby Lobby. I have mixed up paint with my Mod Podge in two different containers, one red, one black. And I just mixed in the bright red apple barrel paint and jet black apple barrel from Walmart. And I do have red this red and black mixed together in this cup to help do our ombre effect if we need it. This was from another project. No big deal. And we have our little brass rat. All right, I'm going to get these ready for application because we're going to get right into it. I'm going to start with the red on the bottom and then the black. Hopefully I can do this without a great deal of difficulty. <laughs> we all know Mod Podge. We know the way it acts. Okay. I'm going to basically start by doing the bottom. And that I did mix the red in here and I and I'm sure that it'll darken up as it dries, but it'll at least leave us with a base other than white. And I did do the electrical tape around the stainless steel lip at the top, and I'll do that a couple of times throughout the process. Oops, it looks like there's a Ugh. There is a bristle in there. Get away. So I'm just laying this on here. And of course I want to go I want to go about halfway with this. But I also want to keep in mind that it is going to be an ombre, so I want I want to kind of split the difference, if that makes sense. And we're going to go right ahead and get right into our glitter. Too worried about that bottom, I can smoosh it down. Don't want too much up there near our dividing line. Just enough to get us, and we'll get right onto the black. And I'm tipping it down a little and sprinkling my black to 
give it a cascading effect for an ombre. I might have to go over this red just a little bit more. We'll see here. We're ready to put our water slide onto this wine tumbler. I just wanted you to take a look. We've got two coats of epoxy on here. And I've got one little one little spot right there that I'm going to have to take down. But other than that, it's ready for its last coat of epoxy. So we are going to go ahead and put our water slide on here. This is white water slide paper. I had to stop and think what it was. Um, and I have reprinted this image that was given to me and the teeth on this bird yeah it really depicts my <laughs> disdain for this um, I have one already cut out and I had to use the white water slide in order for it to work on here now I know you're you're gonna say well you know you could use clear and you could paint and then put it down face side down well if you hang around, you'll see that I did do that. Um, this cup was not having it. This this background and the paint just did not, they didn't come together. Okay, this is coming off already. I have cool, somewhat cool water because white water slides tend to want to be obnoxious. Well, I don't know why I just did that, because I know that if I spray my cup, it actually helps in the placement. So I'm just taking this right off of here the right way. And at least this, I mean, you can still see the background a little bit through this. But, at least it's not splotchy, which is what I was dealing with, with the painted back of my clear water slide. I'm not a fan of white water slides by any stretch of the imagination, but I think this is, this has got it. This is going to do it. Now, if I notice that the edging seems to look a little weird on it. I'm going to go over that with a black marker. I probably won't do it on camera because I will need for this to dry and I need for this video to come up. I need to, I need to drop this sucker. And I have already fiddled around with it too much. Oh, poop. <laughs> See? Yep. That'd be me. Okay. Now, I just want to see that that's sitting where I want it to sit. I think he's a little high. <laughs> I'm not going there. I'm not going there. There. I think I like him further down into the red. I wonder if I can get him any further down. Let's keep playing with it, Sandy, until you muff it up. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get happy here. All right, let's get a paper towel, get that cleaned off. And then our next step is to resin this baby, unless I need to touch up the edges. And, and it looks like I might have to. That's, you know, it's another one of the reasons I don't care for the white water slide. And I did have to cut this out by hand because I just don't. I don't know. My Cricut just isn't, I don't have a love affair with it. I just honestly don't. I think I do better. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I'm doing. 
Okay. All right. I think I think I can be satisfied with that. I see one little. Uh, it might it might just be the reflective. I don't know, silverish or whatever. I'm not going to keep messing with it. So we're going to let this dry. I'm going to go ahead and epoxy it. And the next time you see it, it will be the finished wine tumbler. But I wanted you to see how nicely that, that black and red ombre came out. It really did come out pretty. With that, we're off to slather this baby and then when we come back you'll have the finished product so stay tuned <laughs> 